What is durable execution? As any developer knows, code can fail at any point. Imagine this function that processes orders. You process the payment, register the order by writing it to a database, and then you send the buyer a confirmation email. What if there is a network glitch when we send the payment request, and we are not sure if the payment went through or not? We could retry the payment, but how to make sure that we don't charge our customer twice? Or what if you process the payment successfully, but the database is down and you can't write the order to it? Or what would happen if the service crashes somewhere right before the end of the function? Do we retry the entire function? Did we already do the payment? Was the order already written to the database? And this is just one function. Usually there are other services that call this function and rely on it. Getting quite complex, huh? So the question is, how to get reliable code execution no matter what? There are different ways to do these things, but usually they involve a lot of extra work. You write retry loops, set up message queues, generate item potency tokens, and store them somewhere. And then still, a new failure scenario that you didn't think about pops up every few months. You now got to the point where your concise business logic is dominated by retry and recovery logic. It becomes nearly impossible to see what the code does anymore. So what if there was a system that could track all code execution, so you don't have to? Like a durability layer, that lets your code recover to the exact point where the code crashed. Enter durable execution. Durable execution usually works more or less in the following way. You have your code running somewhere and you have a durable execution engine. Once a step in the code is executed, it gets locked in the durable execution engine. Once it has been locked, it will never get executed again. This is done for each step. So let's see what would happen when there is suddenly an infrastructure failure. The service crashes and then comes back up. The durable execution engine sees this and triggers a retry of the execution. All the steps that were already done are skipped. Usually this is implemented by replaying the log that was composed during the previous execution run. When the log is replayed, the function continues with running the next step, the sending of the email. When this is done, it gets locked and then finally, we have a successfully executed function. That's from a high level perspective what durable execution is. So let's summarize. You could see durable execution as the act of tracking code execution to enable the recovery of partial progress. Want to get started with durable execution? Have a look at Restate. Try it out or subscribe to our channel to learn more about how Restate enables durable execution for your applications.